Hello and welcome to the DRS Development Channel. I'm Jan Mertes and I'm here today to show you our newest project. In the next few episodes, we are going to show you how to turn this engine into an engine that's been finished like this. We specialize in clean built 911 Porsche engines uh, and we are going to take you on the journey to the, all of the processes that we are using to make a dirty engine or an old unrevised engine into a clean revised engine. To challenge ourselves, we are going to make this into a project which we've never done before. We are going to take this 3.6 liter engine and we are going to try to get 360 horsepower out of it. The basis for our project is a 3.6 engine which has been near a fire, it's not actually been on fire, but um, it's been in a shop where there was a fire, it's been heavily corroded, it has a lot of uh, debris, it, it's going to be an extra challenge for us to turn it into a clean engine. For engine builders, 100 horsepower per liter is the holy grail uh, or something that a lot of builders strive at. To start off the project, we have this standard, slightly modified 3.6 liter 964 engine. As you can see, this engine is very dirty. It's been corroded at an accelerated pace and it has something to do with when a fire happens, there is a chemical reaction which causes salt to go in the air and it corrodes the engine at an accelerated pace. Because I'm not very technical and I need a lot of help building these engines, I can sell them, but unfortunately I can't build them. We need Marcel. And Marcel, the owner of Fast Oldies. Um, yeah, the technical specs is uh, one of the major things which happens here. We build Porsches from, from A to Z, so whatever you like, whatever you want, it's basically an open book. Everything is possible, up to a certain limits, like this engine particularly. Why this, why this particular challenge and why is 100 horsepower per liter so important for engine builders? Uh, 100 horsepower per liter is basically the sort of holy grail in normal atmospheric engines uh, to achieve. Like, uh, let's say, uh, a lot of people trying to gain it and, and performance wise, if it's on the test bench, they say it most of the time it's capable of doing so. but we know figures are being manipulated, uh, sort of, sometimes, and we're trying to be open and honest on it, if it is possible, yes or no. And this engine is the one we are trying to achieve that uh, accomplishment. You want to get started? Let's get started. So as you can see, uh, we've stripped the entire engine of the valve covers, the chain covers and the exhausts uh, and everything that goes along with the engine. As you can see, it's extremely dirty. Um, there's lots of uh, smoke damage. We cheated a little bit before, so we put some W40 uh, on the entire engine for a week to, to loosen up all the dirt. Um, we also took off a few of the bolts already of the exhaust because those are the, the tricky ones because we didn't want to bore you with uh, grinding and other stuff. Um, we're going to have lunch now and... Um, awesome. <laughs>
So as you can see, the boys have stripped everything uh, off the engine. We have uh, a little bit of disassembly still to do, but uh, next time we're going to get it cleaned. Uh, we're going to show you the process of it being cleaned. Uh, we have to take all of the measurements. We are going to uh, check all of the bearings, all of the surfaces. And um, if you want to follow the project, please subscribe and let us know in the comments what you think.